And still on the African scenes now to Botswana, where Botswanan health officials on Thursday announced that it will be compulsory to wear face masks in public spaces as the country enters the final week of national lockdown to control the spread of COVID-19. The announcement was made in the government gazette as amendment to the Public Health Act signed by Director of Health Services Malake Shipayage. It said wearing of masks together with frequent washing of hands with soap and water when necessary as most effective prevention of transmission of COVID-19. While washing hands has always been emphasized, wearing masks in the public areas was not mandatory ever since the country recorded its first cases of COVID-19 in late March. Also in the act, amendments were made with regard to travel and visa regulations. And joining me from Botswana is Masego. Good morning, Masego. Good morning, Ma. How are you, Ma? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for joining us. Now, we would like you to give us updates on the development on COVID-19 in Botswana as it stands today. Well, we, are, we, are, we have not yet even concluded. We're just concluding the first 28 days, but there will be an extension of another week of the lockdown ever since April 3rd. So there has been an external, extreme social distancing. That's what we're experiencing right now. All right. Now, how is the level of information sharing from the government and the level of public awareness over there? Are you getting enough information? Are people aware what they are supposed to do? Are they understanding the complete situation and the complete picture? I would say there's actually a good, co effective communication between the government and the people and the information providers and the people. Because in the, on every week, they, we are given regular updates by either the president or the director of public health and health services. So there are so many messages that are in different languages because we have different languages here. So both in Setswana and other minor languages. So every day now and then on the media, that is the national television, Botswana television, there is an update every week about the COVID-19, either about whether there are new cases or no, new ca or no cases, either whether it's to teach us how to wear our mask, but there is a regular information update. And I would say that everybody, even in the remote areas, we are kept abreast with everything that is happening concerning this virus. All right. Uh, I mean, they're talking about information perception also. Uh, there is this thing about some people saying COVID-19 is not an African thing. Is that also happening in Botswana? Well, I would say no. Because one thing about Botswana, uh, they are more like cooperative we are just about 2.8 million so whenever something has been has been communicated to us more especially by the people that we trust that is our leaders our presidents our ministers so we tend to really listen to them rather than to just hear on the speculations or whatever that is going around yeah. because we would say from from the response of the extreme social distancing that we really got the message and we are really willing to really comply to whatever regulation or precaution that we are told to abide with. Right. Masego, it's good to hear you say that you trust your leaders and you take their word for it. Now, how are the citizens taking the move to impose six months public emergency in your country? Well, it all started with the presidential debate of which finally the, 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 House, the House of the Parliament agreed on the six-month uh, state of emergency. Well, I would, I would say that most people were not, were, are not really happy with it. But I would say, from my own point of view, I would say that I think that that was what was needed to be done because the president didn't just request for it, but got, uh, they were engaging with the director of public health services and the medical practitioners. So... Maybe the, the people are not happy, but I would say it is for the betterment of everyone. Thank you so very much, Masego, and please do stay safe out there. Thank you very much.